Today we are discussing a very sad topic is that, AMD suggests PS5 and Xbox Series X stock shortages will continue, until second half of 2021. So, before going deeply into the topic, like the video and subscribe to the channel for MRE interesting, and informative topics. First, I want to share a news with you, that, IO Interactive says that Hitman 3 DLC, will coming soon. The studio is looking at remagining existing locations, and also has its eye on future Hitman adventures. The Hitman trilogy is complete, work on a new James Bond game which could also become a trilogy is underway, but developer IO Interactive isn't done with Agent 47 just yet. Executive producer Forrest swore to large told the gamer that Hitman 3 DLC is coming, although it's not quite clear exactly what form it will take just yet. We are definitely going to be doing some DLC, but we haven't defined what that is, Large said. I think for now we are not looking at new maps like the bank and the island. We're more looking at using existing locations and remagining them, twisting them. And this time around, we can use the whole trilogy. We can look back at Hitman 2016 maps, Hitman 2 maps we have all the locations. Large also hinted again, at the return of Agent 47 for some post-Hitman 3 shenanigans, saying, we're continuously working on Hitman so we are already looking to the future. That IO Interactive is going to keep the Hitman 3 wheels turning is not at all unexpected. As we said earlier this week, it's a hit, man, not just critically we called it the studio's most creative and surprising assassination sim yet, which is quite a feat for a gamer series that's been around, and developed by the same studio for more than 20 years but commercially as well, it took just one week for the game to recoup its costs and tip over into profitability. IO has previously confirmed that elusive targets will return for Hitman 3, with some changes to the formula that haven't yet been revealed, and these remagined levels might make a good fit for that, bonkers glory of the Hitman hitting men with everything from cheeseburgers to cannonballs. Trust me, it's worth your time. Now, jumping into the main topic of the AMD's statement. The CEO of AMD, which makes the processors powering the PS5 and Xbox Series X, explains one of the main causes of the ongoing console shortage. Hopeful gamers are still trying to get their hands on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, even though it's been months since the consoles released. The CEO of AMD, the company that builds the processors that power the new consoles, recently explained some of the root causes of the shortage. Console shortages are nothing new, as anyone who was trying to get a Nintendo Wii at the height of the console's popularity can attest, but it has been especially difficult for players to get the PS5 and Xbox series. There are multiple reasons behind this, ranging from unprecedented demand to the impact of COVID-19, but AMD CEO Lisa Su explained in a recent report what she believes is the main cause behind the shortage. AMD produces Ryzen 5000 processors, which are used to power both the PS5 and Xbox Series X and allow for graphical features like ray tracing technology. High-ranking members of the company recently discussed its best-selling products and plans for the future in its profit report for the last quarter of 2020. In the report, Su said that AMD has had trouble developing the processors because of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and the two-year-long trade war between the United States and China. She expects that this will cause a tightness of supplies well into 2021. AMD made more profits in 2020 over the last year, despite the production slowdown. The company reported making $3.24 billion during the 2020's last quarter, a 53% uptick from the previous year. This is likely due to the release of the PS5 and Xbox Series X and the company's new Radeon RX 6800 XT computer processors, which arrived on the PC market during the holiday season. The COVID-19 pandemic and the ongoing China U.S. trade war are not the only factors behind the console shortage. The video game industry continues to grow rapidly each year, leading to higher demand for new consoles than ever before. With most PS5 and Xbox Series X sales taking place online, there is also the problem of scalpers using bots to buy up all the new consoles as soon as they go live. The scalpers then sit on their stock and sell the consoles at extremely marked up prices. This keeps more consoles out of the hands of gamers and has led to PS5 and Xbox Series X software sales, taking a hit. With unprecedented demand, scalpers, and the issues highlighted by AMD, it seems that the PS5 and Xbox Series X may not be readily available until mid-2021. By then more people will hopefully have been vaccinated against COVID-19 and AMD will have had time to fix its manufacturing and delivery issues, 
leading to an increase of console production. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments. That you got a PlayStation 5 or not. And, until then. Goodbye. Not yet. We're running out of room.